Hey there guys, Sarah here, welcome back and welcome to my Camp Nanarimo vlog. Yay, Camp Nanarimo has started. Please ignore my red face, I have just finished doing a workout. <sighs> because yeah, that's happening now. So, this Camp Nanarimo, I have a goal of 60 hours, which is roughly two hours per day. No, I keep saying it's roughly two hours per day. It is two hours per day. No, it's not. No, because there's 31 days in July, isn't there? April, June and November. Yeah, it's 31 days, so just under. <laughs> just under, I can't do math. Or know the days of the month, apparently. So just under two hours a day, but I'm gonna aim for two. That way, I'm definitely gonna hit 60, rather than not end up hitting 60. So my 60 hours are gonna be spent between doing two different goals. One is to write 10,000 words of my latest work in progress, which I started at the beginning of the year, thus finishing that novel. And then the second is to revise, revise, rewrite, rewrite, th rewrite 10 chapters of Nephilim. I'm starting at a bit of a disadvantage because I'm already behind my rewrites for Nephilim. I was supposed to be starting from chapter 10 at the beginning of this month, going through till the end of the month and do 10 whole chapters, so end up on chapter 19. I was behind from the beginning of the month because I was supposed to do two chapters per week from the 1st of June and last week I hit a massive productivity hit and I revised on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and got up to chapter 7 and they didn't revise for the rest of the week. The kids were home, that's my excuse. So now I'm starting Camp Nanarimo with chapter 8. So I'm two chapters behind where I wanted to be at the beginning of the month and I'm going to end up two chapters behind where I want to be at the end of the month for rewrites. So if I can catch up with those last two chapters, that will be fab. I mean, realistically, I can do those 10 chapters within the 60 hours quite easily. So I say that. Depends if I have to just rewrite what I've written or whether I have to physically write new scenes, which I'll probably have to do a lot of. So I've... And I'm already behind today as well because I wanted to start writing at 10 o'clock after my workout. It is... 12 o'clock and I've just finished my workout so I'm behind a couple of hours and a half today for my personal schedule anyway so I'm <laughs> just it's off to a good start just behind personally and physically and rightly in every single way really I'm gonna so let's grab some lunch first and then start writing and I just bet you the second I start either making lunch or writing the baby's gonna wake up from her nap I've got all evening though, I can easily write two hours this evening, so <laughs> lunch tea writing. Let's go. Oh crap. Of course there's an update. So I have two different projects to do and I don't know which one to do first. Do I start rewriting with my chapter eight and get ahead on that? Or should I pick a scene from the work in progress from the beginning of the year and do that? These are the choices I must make people. Yeah, this is a problem with having two uh, projects to do. I don't know which one to do first. Do I finish one and then go on to the other? Do I alternate and do one in the morning and one in the evening? Do I do for the day whichever I feel like doing? Like the possibilities are endless. Like well they're not endless that was that's the three possibilities that I have really. I don't know. I don't particularly want to do all of my rewriting and then do the 10,000 words because I could easily spend 60 hours just doing those 10 slash 12 chapters if I really wanted to. So I'm worried if I do it that way, I'll run out of time. I could easily bust out the 10,000 words, I guess, so it's done, so I don't have to flip back and forth between the two, but then I'll get bored doing it. So there you go, there you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll, do, I'll do one and then the other. But what to do now? If I, does it count? the 60 hours if I don't do any writing and I don't do any rewriting 
and I just read what I currently have. Does that count for the 60 hours? I don't know. Yes, we'll say yes. I won't waste my time doing that. <laughs> I'll pick a scene, I suppose. We'll start with we'll start with some um, writing. I'll do some a couple of writing sprints. And we'll start with that stupid glare in my glasses. Aim for a thousand words of writing today. Today still being the first of July. Baby still hasn't woken up yet. Shock. So it's 10 to 3, I'm off to get the kids. I have not done anything at all. Okay, no, that's a lie. I've done 130,000 words, maybe that much. Um, I've just been super distracted. Like, I don't know what I'm writing. I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with the work. I have no idea what is supposed to be happening with the plot, what is supposed to be happening in this scene because. I did not plot this novel at all and I did a little bit so I don't know where I'm supposed to be going with the scene or the chapter it leads into nothing that makes sense with the chapter that I've written after it because I'm writing this non, non in order so I've just been flip-flopping between all the scenes I've come up with so it's just all just does not make sense at all and it's not a massive issue I suppose it will take time to fix it coming visions but right now when I have no direction and nowhere to go I just I don't know what I'm doing I've only done about 15 minutes worth of writing as well so only an hour and 45 minutes to go today <laughs> hopefully after the kids are in bed late tonight I'll um, have a better sense maybe of what I want to put in this scene and hopefully it will make sense so it is the 2nd of July. I managed to do a absolutely fantastic 170 words yesterday, which amounted to 15 minutes worth of writing. So I am off to a great start. I'm not off to a great start, that was a joke. I, I was like, it's not that bad. So anything I don't write, I can just, you know, put on to all of the other days. But then I remembered that I'm tracking my hours, not my word count. So then I was like, it's a lot more difficult to tack on hours to a day than it is word count. So I need to actually write two hours a day or this 60 hours is not going to happen. I don't even know what it was yesterday. I just, I was going to start writing and I just oh, couldn't do it. I don't, it's not outlined at all. At all. I just couldn't, I just couldn't, oh, my arm's hurting. I just couldn't write it and I don't know. Have I been away from the story for too long? Perhaps. I haven't touched it, haven't looked at it really since March. So oh, it's only three months, but I don't know. I don't know. I might have to actually sit down and outline it properly. That might be the thing to do. That might help me out a little bit. So today, to get these hours in, so I've got two hours to do today, which we're going to have to do in the morning. Because I start work again today. I officially finished my maternity leave today and I start work from today in the evening from 5 until 9, which is like right smack bang in the middle of my writing time in the evening. So I need to do at least two hours by 3 o'clock, by 2 o'clock. I can do that. I can do that. If I, I'll rewrite Nephilim and actually get some hours down and then maybe. Later this evening I'll spend some time outlining the rest of the scenes that I need to outline for the work in progress so I can at least start getting some words down on that.
keep wondering why I'm not sitting at my desk to type. So I am uh, currently on the sofa with my stuff, but I'm tired and I want to relax a little bit. I'm cold. So now I'm wearing my dressing gown. <laughs> I'm doing okay. I've not really should be keeping a better eye on how long I'm actually writing for, like time myself, because I think I've been writing for about an hour and a half now, not completely, I think I've been writing for about an hour and a half since, I should go down for a nap, since 9.30, so an hour, almost an hour and a half, coupled with the 15 minutes yesterday, so an hour and 45 minutes in total when I'm supposed to be on hours three and four. I don't feel completely bothered to do it. Like usually doing Camp Nano Vimeo, I am up and I am there straight away and I sort of like fade out day 10. I'm starting off really faded out like I don't want to do it. But it's, it might be the project, rewriting, it's such a, such a chore. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I've only written 843 words, but I'm doing it. I've really only written that much. That's pathetic. Whoops, I took a nap. Only for about an hour. But I wrote, I wrote the two hours first. That was finished. Now I'm only two hours behind. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm not going to have time to find anything else today because it's two o'clock. I need to pick up husband from work and then maybe, maybe 20 minutes if I'm lucky before I have to pick kids up from school and then uh, eldest daughter's got a school thing to attend to where she meets her teacher and then I've got to go from that straight to work for the next four hours and then maybe seeing how I feel, hey. I'll spend the hour after I get back from work plotting or at least outlining what needs to happen next in my work in progress and I am going to count that as work towards Camp Nanarimo because I'm still working on my stuff and it's ours so I can do whatever the hell I want with them and that's what we're doing with that today. So did I work on my work in progress yesterday and outline the chapters I need to? No, I did not. Right, so I've currently got one baby crying. Oh, there's another update! Jesus Christ! Scrivener just keeps updating every single day, which is annoying me now. I've got a baby and my little pony in the background. Hey, yeah! So I'm going to try and get some work done now on Nephilim before errands today. And then... Get some more work done later this evening. I will outline today. <laughs> I have two hours I still need to catch up on, so I'm going to try and get it done today when all the kids are out. So that is my goal. We'll achieve my goal. Why am I flaking so much from coming on Arima this year? I have absolutely no idea. It's annoying me a little bit. Oh, that's funny, honey. I have, it's, I don't even know what the time is, it's like two o'clock or something in the afternoon. I've managed to do an hour and a half's worth of writing so far today. So I'm only half an hour off my two hours for the day and then that's two hours spent rewriting and then I'm going to spend the other two hours of today, I say two hours, at least one hour doing some outlining and then I can start rewriting or writing, oh it's hot and I don't, can't talk. And I'll start doing some writing for my work in progress 
tomorrow and get a start on that. I have some errands that I need to run now. Need to hit a couple of shops. Five. Buy a few bits and pieces, pop into Primark, and uh, hopefully once that's done. I've got running tonight as well though. I'll uh, shove the camera in my friend's face when we go running, that will be fun. So once that's all done and dusted, yeah, nice evening spent doing some outlining. Hi! <laughs> Come in. This one forces me to go running once a week. <laughs> you have to get fit. It's not fair, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm out running, I've been given a number. So has she. <laughs> this is all her fault. Hey, I didn't plan this. I could be doing some work right now if it wasn't for you. <laughs> I'm going to do it later, I promise. I was forced to do a run tonight. It's her fault. <laughs> So I just finished running, I'm very tired. And now I'm at the heater's house. That was my friend Nikita, by the way. I know Nikita. She's an artist. Woo! Um, I'm at the now. I've got my notebook, I've got my pen. We're making some tea, we're getting some biscuits, and I have got at least an hour and a half's worth of outlining to get done. How much can I outline? Hello! Look at my cute tea mug with my cute spoon. It's so adorable. <laughs> Rolling your eyes at me. So it is, it's 11 o'clock. I did about another hour's worth of outlining. I actually outlined today. So I got three scenes outlined. So my goal is tomorrow to actually write one of them. I'm being weird. And should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. This is my three day check in. <laughs> because Nana, Camp Nana Remo ends on a Wednesday. So me and my weird brain want to end on a Wednesday. And do the week. So this is how I'm doing that. Slow start. Getting stronger. I've done five hours good and five hours completed. I'm an hour behind still. But again... <sighs> As now that I've got the outline, I suppose I can easily catch that up. Hopefully I can catch that up now that it's been done. I will need to do some more outlining. But outlining is easy to count for the hours, so I should be able to keep up with that quite easily. Let me know guys in the comments below how have your first three days been for your three day check-in for Camp Nanarimo. And I will see you next time. Good thoughts and happy writing.